Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put this together in Design Space so that we can actually cut this project and put it together. So before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, I really appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, all right, sometimes, you know, I've talked about this in the past where, uh, you know, when you wanna make a file really big, you gotta look at different components. Like hopefully there's a separate, you know, head, to like upper body, lower body, and then that way you can make things 30 inches. If everything was 10 inches, then you easily have 30 inches. Um, there are gonna be times when that just doesn't work. For instance, uh, you can see this little Pokemon, oh, this is P Pikachu, right? So, wait, no, is it Pokemon? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. No, no, this is Pikachu. I know, I, my, I'm so bad at my characters. But anyway, so with Pikachu, for all the files that I've seen, the ears are connected to the face, the face is connected to the body. There is very little that we can do. So when you have something like this and your options, and you don't want to make the deliberate um, slicing, like the, you know, make it so that the ear is separate from the face and that it's, it's intentional, um, the other option is to add more elements and still make it big. So in this case, this is what we're gonna do with this one. Um, we're going to combine two characters to make this 27 inches. And so that it's still about 30, you know, close to 30 inches. So that still makes it really, really big. And I apologize for the dog barking right now. Um, okay, so Cooper, stop. Um, so, <laughs> All right, so we're adding elements to it. It still doesn't help us because Pikachu is so, is all like yellow with one piece. We can do things like add the number, the age to it. Um, so that's kind of how we're doing this one. So it's totally cheating, but it's gonna make for a flawless project and it's gonna look amazing in person. So, all right, I flattened this image so that we have something to look at. But basically what I did was I went on Etsy, searched for two files that I liked for Pikachu and Ditto. And um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go to my uploads because I already have them in here. So let's look, here's Pokemon uh, or Pikachu. <laughs> let's view all and see what else we have here. Um, so we want this one. We also want, we want all these letters, right? So. Um, I bought on Etsy, so this is not a font because it has both the blue and the yellow. So these are individual SVG files. I've got Ditto, and let's just put all of these in here. So that's Zach, we don't need two C's, A, and then number nine. Okay, so we're gonna add to Canvas. Um, so this is gonna look flawless like I was saying. So this is what we're gonna do. First thing is let's get all our characters in. And I looked to see, and I made them, you know, similar in size because it looks like they are similar in size. Hopefully my research is not wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna add these two together. I didn't like, I can be whatever you want. Like I, you know, just thought it would be better if it was uh, for the birthday boy, right? So you can see here, Pikachu is all, look at ears connected to the body. This is, impossible to make it big using 12 by 12 cardstock. Uh, it's just not gonna work. There's too many pieces. The ear is going this way, so it doesn't matter if we rotate the image or anything like that. It's going to be humongous. Um, it's a lot of yellow for one piece. So that is why we bring in the nine. We bring in another character so that it's still a big piece, but it's a big piece split into two characters. And so that allows us to make it um, seamless and flawless looking. Okay, so we're gonna add the end there. On this one, what you wanna do is you wanna look at this file. You know, I don't design files, so I'm stuck um, basically making the best of it, right? So in this case, it looks like there's all these little pieces in here. So we're gonna get rid of all these little pieces. We're just going to delete and delete, go, delete. Okay, we want this, we wanna get rid of this. What is all this? Okay, so here we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna hide all to give us a blank canvas. So there's our canvas, perfect. And we're gonna put the name here. 
So with the name, what I would do is let's put, put it together up here. Because what we want to do is we want those blues to be together, welded together, okay? So now that we have all of them kind of attached, right? We're going to go and grab the A, hit your shift key, grab the Z, the blue, right? Uh, the blue C and the H. And we're going to go to combine and weld them together. So now the blue is one piece. There is a little hole right there. It's up to you whether or not you want that. We can get rid of it by going into contour and I'm just gonna get rid of it just to see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go to, where do I wanna go? Arrange, send to the back. All right, so now we have this. It's up to you whether or not you want that open space. I'm gonna grab this though and I'm going to group it together because no matter what I do, I want the blue and the yellow to be uh, to be bigger or smaller at the same proportion, right? The same ratio. So whether I do this, I want both, right? So that's why I grouped it together for now. I'm gonna stick it in here, make this a little bit smaller, switch it around like my original design. Okay, so I've got these two together. Um, I have this one, I'm gonna arrange, send it to the front. Okay, so now I've made it look very similar to this one, right? So now I'm gonna grab this and let's see, I made it 27 inches. So let's go to width and change this to 27, okay? And I lost my nine. What did I do with my nine? My nine is still here. Oh, it's in, the, okay. So um, let's bring the nine, arrange, send to the front. So there is my nine. And I can make this nine a little bit bigger. Maybe something like that. We know there's gonna be a seam right here because we're gonna cut it in half right around here. <laughs> okay. And um, this all looks identical to this, right? I think we're good. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And now we have our piece. Okay, so now let's see what we wanna do. We want, I'm trying to think what we wanna do here. Do we want two separate characters? I think it would be easier to do two separate characters. So right now they're connected, right? Sort of. This one's out here, but if we treat this as a separate character and then in the end we go and we put both of them on top of one and we do the foam board behind it, it will connect the two, but they will be two separate characters, which I don't think is a bad idea. I'm trying to think if there's any reason why we don't want to do that. I think that would make it really, really easy. So we're actually going, so right now it looks good the way it is, but we're gonna treat this as two separate characters. So this is gonna be a 15 inch character. This one's going to be a 20 inch character because of the sign, right? So let's do that. Um, I'm almost wondering. I think we're good there. Okay, so what is all this down here? Oh, these letters are still here, so we can get we can get rid of this. This is just part of the file. I'm going to delete all of that. And this is just the nature of getting certain files, right? <laughs> That's just the way they designed it. The letters came separately. Okay, so now we've got everything. Okay, all right, this makes it easy, right? Okay, so now let's go into our images and I'm gonna type in grid because this is my SVG file, right? Um, to make it easier to find, I'm gonna go to ownership and I want just files that I've uploaded. So here's my grid. I'm gonna upload the grid. The reason why 
it's important to have this grid is because the squares are all flush together. It's going to make it so that when we go to slice anything that's too big for our Cricut, uh, we know that it's going to be right on top of each other. There's no mistaking it because these squares are already flush together. So you can get this file on my website, theuselesscrafter.com, www.theuselesscrafter.com. You can either sign up for our um, newsletter, which then gives you a code so that you can enter it so that you don't have to pay for the grid. If you don't want to give me your email address, <laughs> you can certainly pay for the grid. Now, the reason why I like it is it's an image. You don't have to recreate it each time. It's always there and you know that it works. So I'm going to do the three by three, which means it is each square, square ugh, is 11 by 11 inches. So this is a 33 inch by a 33 inch grid, which is perfect for our character. So I'm going to add to canvas and um, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to go over here and duplicate uh, because we have two images. Okay, so I'm going to move that one here. We're going to move, let's move this whole thing over here. This, whole, we're going to do this. All right, here we go. First thing that I want you to do is let's go to position and put them on whole numbers. We want to be able to recreate this if we make any mistakes. So I'm just going to put two and two. That means the tip of this square is two inches in, two inches down, okay? Now I'm gonna bring this arrange, send to the front. Okay, here we go. So our black background is too big. He's actually in multiple pieces, right? Um, and I believe our yellow. So let's go up here. So you can see Pikachu has some issues. It's got a red exclamation mark because some pieces are too big. It's really, just these two pieces. So what we can do is we can ungroup this and we'll just move all the pieces that we don't have to deal with, okay? So here's the white. These pieces are the brown and we can we can either slice these pieces apart or we can um, use contour to, to remove the pieces so that they're not all together. I'm sorry, it's so much noise right now. I am filming this during Thanksgiving week and my daughter is off from school. I can't just close the door. So it's craziness right now. So let's move, let's move all these pieces. Oh, stop it! <laughs> This is how um, um, mommies work, right? Mommies work from home. <laughs> okay, so now we've got, this is the black piece. Um, what do we wanna do with this? So we can slice this, the ears are gonna come apart. Let me see, what can we do? There is no good thing about this file. This would keep, let me put this back. Cause I do, so if we do it right here, this isn't bad. The yellow will cover most of the black right here. So if we do this, let's move this up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. So I don't want that tip to be there. Oh, I just moved my square. This is why. So we wanna move this back to two and two. We're gonna move our, oh geez. Okay, let me move my thing over. Okay, here we go. Um, we gotta move this down a little bit. There, I think that's perfect. Okay, so now with our grid, we're gonna ungroup it. And I may get rid of this one, we don't need that. So let's grab these two things and slice. When you're slicing, you can only slice two things at a time. So I'm slicing one square against my black, okay? So now I'm gonna slice this square against this black piece. And then I'm gonna slice this, oh, 
this one doesn't have anything in here, so I'm going to delete that square. So I think we have our three pieces. That's a pretty big piece. This is all connected. It's nice. This is not all connected. So this is two pieces. What I would do with this is I would duplicate it, go to contour, and separate it. So I'm getting rid of this one. It leaves me the bottom piece right here. Okay. And then on this one, I need that tail, right? So I'm gonna, or at the ear, I'm gonna remove this piece, leave this one here. So now, and the reason why we do that is because they're not connected. When we go to cut this, when we actually go to make it and cut it on the Cricut machine, this allows us to be efficient with our paper. So I'm gonna do this for a minute. Let's get rid of these squares that we don't need. Okay, now we gotta work with the yellow. Now with the yellow, we know the tail is separate, right? So let's remove that piece. Let's duplicate this and go to contour. And you see how I'm gonna remove the tail on this one. So this one is just my Pikachu. This one, I need the tail. So I'm gonna hide all. I want the tail, I don't want this big body. So here's my tail, my tail is flawless, right? So here's my little guy. Now if you remember, what I wanna do with this guy is, I wanna slice it somewhere right here because the nine is gonna be there, right? Um, so let's look at this, what do I wanna do? So the arms, you see how the arms, let's, let's go into this, let's look at this a little bit more. I don't want to slice it right across because the arms will look like they're sliced into it. I don't have anything to cover the arms. So what I want to do is I want to make the arms separate. And you see, they're almost so close together, right? So I'm actually going to go to text. And I love glitter. I don't love that font, but I love it for this, okay? So it's from DaFont, so you should download it. Uh, are you kidding me? Did I misspell it? I didn't misspell it. Okay, here it is. So with this font, what I want you to do is, it is the square bracket, okay? It's the to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. So if I do that right now, this is what I get. I get this little squiggly that sort of, it gives me that flow that I need, right? So I'm gonna, let's duplicate that. It's duplicated somewhere. All right, let's flip this around. And I kind of like it right around there, right? It looks, it looks like it's good, right? So what I want to do is I want to take this and my Pikachu and I'm going to slice. This is where it gets a little crazy though, okay? Because we're going to need to put some things back together. So we're going to get rid of this, this, the yellow. The yellow is where we need to work this out. So we're going to, let's look at this contour. We don't want this piece, I think. Okay. And what we want to do is we want this and this piece, we're gonna put him back together, okay? So we're gonna grab those two pieces and we're gonna weld it back together. And look what happens. So now our arm is completely separate, but it's a whole piece. Now we're gonna do it with this one. Do you see what we did? So we sort of like, we sliced it, but then we put him back together. This little curve right here, I don't, oh, uh, was that part of it? It's okay, I don't mind that right there. Let's go and turn this around. Oops, let's make that smaller, a little bit smaller. Okay, and let's turn this around. Okay, oops. Let's move this arrange send to the front. And let's see if we can make that a little bit better, maybe right around there. Okay. 
All right, let's see what that looks like. We're going to grab this and Pikachu and slice. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Get rid of all of that. Okay, so now we're left with the yellow. What we really wanna get rid of is just this middle piece right here, right? So we're gonna click on this contour and we just don't want this piece. Okay, now we're gonna grab the yellow pieces and Pikachu and put him back together by welding it. Not so bad, we can trim that, hand trim it if we wanted to. This piece right here, we can make that better. So let's go and do this. I know, this is clunky, but it's my workaround and I am good with it. <laughs> let's, oops, you know what? This would be better. Hold on, let's get a, let's get an oval. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna put it right up to here. You see how it's gonna look better? Grab the oval and Pikachu and weld him back together. So that looks so much more smooth, right? And then over here, we can easily just hand trim that, which I think I would do. I would trim it just a little bit on the top and on the arm, okay? So now let's make this smaller again. And what we're gonna do is, we already have the tail apart. Let's go and um, let's duplicate this two more times. We want three copies of this because we want arm, arm, and body, okay? So let's duplicate and duplicate. First one, we're gonna contour. We're gonna hide all, and we've got, um, we gotta put back the little pieces. I think. That's good. All right, so we've, oh wait, where is it? We've got this. Oh, we have a leg. Um, okay, hold on, let's contour that and put the leg back in because the leg is a separate piece, but it fits right in there, so it makes sense. All right, so you can see at this point, we're gonna slice him right around. We can slice him right here. We know the nine is gonna cover it. So we don't care about that slice, okay? But let's go up here and let's get, get our arms. So we're gonna contour, we're gonna hide everything. I want this arm, I don't want this body. So now here's my arm. Then on this one, so there's no seams there, right? Because if we were to slice it right here, the nine will cover this seam, but not through the arms. So let's go and contour this one. We want to hide all, we want this arm, we don't want the body. And here we go, yay. So here are our pieces, right? So now we can slice it, let me see. Cause I wanna make sure that we want, we don't want the ears to be separated. And it's gonna be a close call. Does that fit? No, that ear is still up there. I don't like this. So if we slice it right here. You see what I'm doing? It's gonna be sliced right here. The nine has to cover this seam, which hopefully it will. Let's see. Let's bring this nine up close. Arrange send to the front. And let's make sure that we, wah, let me undo that. Okay, let's turn this. Okay, so do you see how the seam starts right here? We know the nine can cover it, sort of. No, we can't, we gotta make him. Oh man, he's just a little bit, you know what? Let's bring this up just a little bit. I think we will be fine right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna have to put together that ear again. So actually, what do I wanna do? I want to, I'm gonna get rid of this square. I'm gonna do this. No, it doesn't matter. All right, let's slice this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this yellow with 
Where is that ear? Where is the tip of that ear? What is that? That's the foot. I don't want the foot. Nope. I want this piece right here. Where is that piece? Oh, I, okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh, I see, okay. So this piece right here, we're gonna duplicate it because it's in two, okay. So this piece, we're gonna contour and we're gonna get rid of the bottom. And we're gonna leave just that tip, okay? So that tip, we're gonna reunite it with the face and we're gonna weld it together. It's gonna be a little bit big. Oh no, we can cut that on, a, on the Cricut, 10.6 by 11.3. So that's one piece, right? This piece right here, we're gonna go to contour. We don't need this piece. And there, we've got this. So he's gonna have a seam right here where the nine is gonna cover it. So we've got that all done. So we can get rid of this. I know it's complicated. It's complicated and it's not. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I think we're done except for making this a couple different pieces by itself. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna keep all this together, but let's do, so that's one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So let's duplicate this. There's two, three, four, and five, okay? Let's go to contour and let's get rid of, let's make our first one. This is gonna be our first piece. All these pieces are together. Did I not, there. Okay, there we go. So this becomes six, seven inches by seven inches. We can do that, right? So this one we're gonna contour, we're gonna hide all. I just want the mouth, let's get rid of this piece. So here's a little mouth, right? The next piece, contour, let's hide all. I want this piece and I don't want this piece. The reason why it always defaults to that one piece up there is it, when we go to hide all, if it really does hide all, the whole piece would disappear. So there's always one default piece that's, that remains. So, all right, let's go to contour. We're gonna hide all. We've already done the mouth and this, right? So now we need the foot. We don't need the tail. And there we got that one. And then our last piece is we need this long slender piece down here, right? So let's go to contour, hide all. This one piece remains, right? So I want this piece. I want to remove this piece. All right. Think we're done with Pikachu. Let's go and look at our other character and see what we have left. Okay, so here he is. Um, let's scroll down so that we have everything clean. All right, so here is our piece. I'm gonna move this to, I'm just gonna round 47 to 40. So in case we need to undo ourselves, we can figure out where we were. All right, so here we are. This one only has, so let's ungroup this. The only piece that is too big for us, and let's ungroup it, oops, no. I wanna ungroup and grab this and ungroup and grab this and ungroup. Okay, it looks like the, only the black is the issue for us. 11.6 by 10, but we can cut that on one piece. Okay, this is a little bit long, but we can get rid of this. So let's duplicate this piece and then go to contour. Or do we not need to, oh wait, hold on. Do I just need to ungroup this? Ungroup, there we go. Okay, so we've got this one and let's see how big this piece is. 13 inches by 9.8, but I think we can rotate this. So let's rotate this a little bit and see what we have. This might be too long. Closer. Oh, it's 
it's going to be too long. So this piece is too long for 12 by 12 cardstock. So our options are to just slice it, use a glitter cardstock knowing that it's not going to show. So I think that's what I would do. Um, in my case, I'm going to find some purple cardstock that is long enough that's going to fit this. Here's the thing. I, uh, you know, we did it at 27 inches. If we made this 26 inches, everything, this problem would go away. Then you would have a completely flawless thing. So that's another thing that we should have checked early on. I knew I was using different paper. I should have, <laughs> I should have mentioned that to you guys. All right, I'm gonna leave this as is. And the only thing we need to do is the black background, right? So this one, what I'm gonna do is, I am, what is wrong with this? I am going to weld this. Then I'm gonna contour and hide all. This is our black background. Okay, so now I'm gonna put him down and let's see what we have. We've got, We've just got some pieces we've got to deal with. So let's ungroup this. This is going to be in multiple pieces that we're going to put back together. Okay, so here we're going to grab these two things, slice, slice. We're slicing him all the way around. I'm going to get rid of these pieces that we don't need, right? And slice this. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so that means we've got one, two, three, four, five. Those are our five pieces that we're gonna put back together. The rest we can remove. And I think we've got all our pieces. So I'm gonna save this. And now we're gonna cut and make it. So let's go to the make it screen just so that you can see what that looks like. I am gonna do on mat. I'm gonna use 12 by 24, let's confirm. Okay, so this, the white pieces, we could go and um, slice it so that we can move the two pieces closer together, right? Let's look at our black. So our black, I would do this, you know, like put two 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock right up on the 12 by 24 mat so that you can cut the full length, even though we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. And then here, what we can do is, I think we can make this better. Let's see. And you know, you can rotate things to fit, to squeeze in. Let's see if we can squeeze this in like this. So here is one. And that just leaves these two pieces. Let's see if we can move these over to this one so that we're only cutting four sheets. I'm not sure because I can barely see the black. Let's see what it looks like on this screen. Okay, so here, okay, we've got this. This fits up here. Okay, we're good. So we've got that square. Let's see if we can make it work somehow. I don't know if that's gonna work. It looks like we're gonna have to cut this in multiple so we've got one, two, three, four, four sheets. And it's just gonna have to be because I don't think this will fit anywhere. We can try it. Let's, um, oh, I see. We still have some space here. So let's move this. Let's see if we can fit it onto three sheets of black. That's our goal right now. So let's see. Won't fit there. Will it fit over here? It won't, it's too big just a little bit too big. So let's move it back. Move object back over here. All right, so let's look at all our pieces. So we're gonna cut four sheets of black cardstock. Here's our red. Our red is just the eyes. This is our tongue and I don't know, something there. <laughs> uh, these are the pieces inside, ditto. Super cute, whatever. Okay, that color. This is our little sign. This right here, okay, so we can move this over. And then that leaves all of this as scrap that you can easily reuse. Okay, let's look at our yellow. 
Our yellow's a little crazy. Okay, so the, that fits on there. Let's see. Oh, I the all of this we can make fit on two sheets. So we can move that because look, there's so much space here. Yeah, we can individually move these items. So let's move these. Click on the three dots, move object, and we're gonna move it over to here. And we're just gonna do that for every piece. Make sure that when you're moving things from screen to, or from, um, from mat to mat, <laughs> that nothing is overlapping. Like for instance, you don't want this to happen. You're gonna ruin both these pieces and need to recut them. You need to make sure that nothing overlaps, okay? So let's go to this yellow down here, move the Z, move it onto this one. Go back, oops, this one, we're almost done. Move object. I do hate how, like, surprise it can't. There's no um, code to make that work. There's plenty of room on this yellow. It would have been really um, inefficient to cut it on three sheets of yellow, right? So we're moving all these over. One more. Could we be more efficient? Maybe. That leaves room for over here. I mean, we could be way better. <sighs> can move this. This is just how you want to use your scraps later. So that means this is scrap right here. I mean, I guess I could. This is minor, but that gives you all of this. Okay. All right. So we've got our yellow and that's it. I'm going to cut this and we're going to put it together. The piecing it together is going to be different this time because we're actually dealing with two different characters that we're going to put together. So you can see how that's going to look. And then we will, I'll see you then. All right. Comments, questions, please post them below. But I hope this gives you an idea of how to take two different objects that would be difficult to hide the seams as individual ones, but together they'll make a big, um, a big project together and that will help us um, to hide some of the seams. All right, I will see you guys soon. Bye.